Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to day 13 of our daily yoga fix. So come to a comfortable seated position. Make sure you have plenty of room to practice and you're well hydrated and do get any support that you might need for your body. So as we arrive, bringing the hands to Anjali Mudra, we'll open the space for our practice with the vibration of Om. Taking a breath in. Oh. And just gently bow the gaze. Take a few moments to tune in to how the body is feeling. And the emotional landscape. And any thoughts. As we begin to feel a deep connection with the flow of the breath to guide our practice. So then taking a deeper breath in, exhale and gently open the eyes. So we're going to begin with a gentle forward bend. Bring the fingertips down to feel grounded and then inhale, lengthen. That's it. Exhale and just adjust the hands forward. You might stay up on the fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and just begin to fold forward to your own measures. You might bring the hands down. You might stay on the fingertips. Breathing deeply if this is easy for you. You might fold all the way down, releasing the forehead to the back of the hands. If you're in the chair, you may fold over the lap and just let the head dangle. So just a few more breaths here. Let's see where you need to be as we release the lower back muscles. And then squeeze the pelvic floor. Inhale to make your way back up. Exhale. Bring the hands behind you and just change the cross of the legs. If you're sitting cross leg, inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Place the right hand down and then swoosh the left arm across as we come into a side bend. Big inhale. Exhale. Release the shoulders. This is too much for the shoulders. Remember, you can always bring your hand to your hip. That's it. If you're in the chair, just take hold of the side of the chair and just lean over from there. Good. And then swing the arm down. Inhale to center. Exhale. We change sides. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Press the left hand down. Swoosh the right arm across. Big inhale. Exhale. Release the shoulders. And keep the chest lifting forward. Breathing into any tight sensations you can feel. Breathing, feeling, good, and then exhale, swing the arm down. So from here, we'll make our way through to an all fours position. We're practicing on the floor. So come into a tabletop. From this position, just take a few moments to just feel nicely steady there. Breathing. And then from here, inhale, step the left leg back, tuck the toes under, exhale. Inhale, so you can stay here or you might lift the leg up no higher than your own hip, pointing the toes. And really straighten it out as best you can, push away from the floor. And then exhale, draw the left knee into the belly. Round, let go of the head. Inhale, so straighten and lift. Exhale, knee into belly, abdominals in. Last one. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, and knee into the belly. Inhale, bring the left knee down. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, step the right leg back or right leg forward. If you're in the chair, you'll fold over the leg. And then exhale, point the toes. Good, draw the shoulders back. Good, draw the lower abdominals in. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, squeezing, knee into belly. Relax the head. Inhale to extend. Exhale to squeeze. Good, last one. Inhale to extend, lift from the inner thigh. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale, bring the knee back down. Exhale. From here, walk the hands forward, an extra hand print. Inhale, tuck the toes. And exhale, push back into downward dog. So usual options. You can bring the knees down if that's preferable in your downward dog. Or you can begin to walk the dog, hand shoulder distance and feet hip distance. Let the head dangle as you gaze between the heels. Breathing and feeling, and then lengthening and releasing. From here, inhale, bring the left heel to the floor, toes out to the side, look forward. 
Exhale, step through with the right leg and just plant that heel down. And then inhale, lift up with floppy arms. Good. Exhale, hands to the hips and just square the hips, draw the right hip back. From here, draw the fist towards the small of the back and inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale. So we're setting up for pyramid pose, our first Vatanasana. Again, you can fold over your right leg if you're sitting in the chair. Just do that from a seated base. So inhale, lift the chest. Good. Exhale, begin to hinge forward slowly, nice and easy. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, keep weight in the back heel. Exhale, it might be a look towards the big toe. You might micro bend the front knee. Or if it's easy, you may continue to fold forward and relax the head. So just see where you need to be. Good breathing, feeling, don't judge the body. Good, and then from here, exhale, release the hands down either side of that right foot. Inhale, might pop up onto the fingertips or onto some bricks. Exhale, and just gently draw that right foot back. You can feel that you're scissoring the inner thighs together. Lift through the sternum. Good, exhale. And from here, pivot on the back foot. Bend the right knee, bring the left hand down and come into a nice open twist of floating the right arm up. Know that your left knee can be down if that's preferable. Good. Exhale, lifting, and then bring the arm down. Inhale, step back into plank position. Just stabilize through your plank. And then exhale, push back into downward dog. Take a few breaths. And then get nice and warm, nice and toasty now. And then inhale, bring the right heel in, we change sides. Exhale, step through with the left leg or help the left leg through. Inhale, press through the heel, lift up, floppy arms, keeping the hips nicely square, good. Exhale. From here, inhale, straighten the front leg. Again, press the fist together at the small of the back. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly begin to hinge from the hips. Moving forward, you run into the hamstring, acknowledge the discomfort, the tightness, big inhale. Exhale, either stay there, keep weight in the back heel. You can micro bend slightly for your lower back, or you might continue down if this is easy for you. Relax the head. If you've gone pretty low, if not, your drishti is your big toe. Breathing and feeling, making peace with any discomfort you can feel. That's great. Good. And then from here, release the hands down either onto uh, your mat or some bricks. Inhale, lift the chest. So if you're in the chair, you bring your hands into the uh, lap and straighten that front leg and still lift the chest. Good. Breathe in, draw the shoulders back, whichever option you're in. And then exhale, bend the front knee, pivot on the back foot, plant the right hand down and inhale, coming into an open twist. Again, you have the option to bring the knee down. If that's too much, you might look towards the fingertips, straight ahead or straight down. Keep lifting. Good, squeeze the pelvic floor. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Step back into plank position and just stabilize your plank. Remember, you can do a knees down plank, no problem. And then exhale, coming down into a seated position. And from this position, scooch forward and just lay on the back. Come into semi-supine a few moments. I'm not going to stay here, but just feel the energy you've created so far. Allow the shoulders and the back to release. And then from here, you might just scooch a bit further forward on your mat, as I'm doing. I'm going to set up for a posture called Halasana. So some options here. You might bring the hands underneath the lower back and the glutes. Bring the knees in. Either stay there or float the legs up into Viparita Karani. You can just settle there, and this is your inversion. It might be that you catch the hips in the hands and come into uh, halasana, so squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. So the neck should be away from the mat, free. If this is too much in any area of your body, then come straight back down. If it's easy for you, you may continue to take the legs down towards the face. If the feet don't meet the floor, you'll keep the hands on the hips. If they do, you might interweave the fingers in front of you, roll the shoulders under, and just breathe there. So just see what's possible. Again, if you're working in the chair, you'll fold forward over the legs, 
So your head is lower than your heart and that will be your inversion. You straighten out the legs if you wish. So breathing and feeling whichever version of Kalasana you're in. So this is fine. Stabilizing through the elbows. Try and settle the breath. Nice, even breathing. Good. And then from here, you can bring the hands to the floor or keep the hands on the hips. And just begin to lower the body down. Try to avoid the rocking. So squeeze the pelvic floor and just try and keep the shoulders down. You might rock up. It's okay if that happens. Uh, just try to kind of counteract it and then bring the knees in as we all come in to Apanasana. Well done. And just have a little rock from side to side. And then bring the soles of the feet down and just pause for a moment in semi supine position. Just allow everything to settle. You might bring the hands to rest lightly on the rib cage. And just giving your mind the mantra. All is well as we feel all the systems of the body and mind releasing. Settling into the breath. And then from here, squeeze the pelvic floor. Inhale, release the hands. Gather the knees back in. Little squeeze. Exhale as you roll to one side. And just pause there for a moment. Connect with your breath, observe there may be some changes in your different levels of body, mind, breath, connection. And then you can just stretch out the usual way to come through to a comfortable seated position, however that looks. As you arrive, sit tall, bring the hands to the center of the chest. Take an inhale. Exhale, gently bow the head as we give thanks for our health and our practice. And then inhale, lift the prayer hands up. And exhale to center. Namaste. So well done for getting to day 13. Just one day to go. You're doing really well. Hope you enjoyed that practice. If you did, just hit the like button. And I hope to see you for the final day of the Daily Fit.